Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Yesterday I posted a video showing how to make logic gates and repeaters that behaved a lot like normal redstone gates and repeaters, except they are instantaneous. Of course, they were also a lot bigger. They look a lot like this thing here. This is just a repeater. Um, a lot of people thought it was cool, but they also thought that this was too bulky to be used in any real applications. Um, so what I've got here is um, sort of a, a repeater system that that keeps the signal um, both on the vertical on, on the uh, on and off edge. As you see, on both edges, it's simultaneous. The signal is going around uh, through these repeaters, and so um, the the signal from the switch is getting to, to this note block at the same time as it's getting along, uh, getting to the note block from here, and the inverted signal. Same thing, it's going all the way around. Um, so it's instantaneous, um, but the actual signal that takes up most of the most of the space here, or most of the distance, is actually really small. It's just basically a single line. And it uses Tabby Rider's improved, uh, improved instant wire that is able to transmit a signal instantaneously, but it just transmits a pulse. Um, so so basically, this works on the principle that um, anytime I either turn the signal, the input signal here, on or off, I'm going to send a pulse along this line. And it's a very quick pulse. And so each pulse will cause one update on my instant repeater. So if you know anything about how the instant, instant repeater works, um, a single update is going to switch the is going to switch the output. So every time that I flick the switch over here. It's going to also switch the output over here. That's what we see. Um, and so, so I just get these quick pulses. You can see from Tabby Rider's videos how to build this, but basically it's just uh, it's really simple. Just a redstone torch on top of a block, and then a piston, and then a, a block with a redstone torch underneath. So this transmits the signal instantaneously. I have a bunch of them. Um, and then over here, to start the signal off, uh, going into this one, um, I have something that looks kind of like the instant repeater. It's it's just a little bit different. Um, I still have two of the toggle block up detectors, except I don't really connect them together. Basically, each one just uh, just has a torch under the the block, and so um, whenever I toggle the signal, one of these two tor one of these two blocks is going to be out, one of them is going to be in. So whichever one's out is going to cause um, an instantaneous uh, retraction of, of a piston, um, either this piston or this piston, and and that's going to cause um, this redstone line to depower at first for a moment until the next piston is able to extend and um, and cause the signal to turn back on. So that's going to cause that's going to cause this whole chain of um, of improved instant wire repeaters to go off, and that's going to toggle the output here. So, yeah, um, I, I just I think the main point to take away from this is, yeah, I, I I put out a video yesterday that showed some really bulky devices, but just because the the the, the devices that I showed were bulky doesn't mean that everything you do with this concept has to be bulky. This is actually a, a very very clean way to transmit a signal over a very long distance. So. That's about it. Thanks for watching.